Hi, I'm Marjorie Plish. I'm an Applications Engineer for Texas Instruments. Today we're going to talk about measuring ACPR for wideband communications applications. ACPR is an important perf performance parameter for wideband communications applications because it measures how much one channel may interfere with another. First of all, let's take a look at what, what is ACPR. ACPR stands for Adjacent Channel Power Ratio, and it can also be referred to as Adjacent Channel Leakage Power. So what happens is, due to nonlinearities in the system, intermodulation from a wideband or modulated signal tends to leak into adjacent sidebands. Um, so the, uh, the ACPR is actually the ratio of the power in the main channel to the power in an equal bandwidth of an adjacent channel. So the channels are referred to like this. There's the main signal, then slightly above that in frequency is the upper adjacent channel, and above that is the upper alternate channel. Below the main signal is the lower adjacent channel and the lower alternate channel. ACPR is important because it measures how much a signal might interfere with its neighboring channel in a wideband communications application. So for this example, uh, this is the main signal and you can see here that some of its uh, power is leaking over to an adjacent channel. So if there was another desired signal here, then the leakage power from this signal would be interfering with the other desired signal. Uh, one of the, the worst contributors to ACPR can be the power amplifier because it tends to be the most nonlinear element in a system. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at the ADC. So the product that we're looking at today is the ADC 12D1800RF. This data converter is part of the ADC 12D1800, 1600, 1,800 and 500 RF family. A few key features which make it an ideal data converter for uh, a communications application are first of all its extremely high sampling rate. This provides for a very large Nyquist bandwidth in which many communications channels can be stacked. In addition to that it has a very high uh, sampling a uh, very high input bandwidth and uh, it has great performance up to 2.7 gigahertz and above. So uh, for high frequency uh, communications channels this ADC works very well. In addition to that this ADC family has excellent linear linearity performance which actually minimizes the ACPR. A few examples of wideband applications are uh, 3G, 4G base station, microwave backhaul, RF sampling and wideband software defined radio, and some military applications such as signal intelligence, communications, and radar. So the block diagram that we're going to look at is uh, first of all the signal generator is generating a WCDMA signal which is centered at 1950 megahertz. This signal has a chip rate of 3.84 megahertz. That's followed by a bandpass filter, which is centered at 1950 megahertz. And this is designed just to cut out the higher order harmonics from the uh, input signal. Then this signal is sampled by the ADC 12D 1800RF, and the data is uploaded into WaveVision 5. So WaveVision 5 is a software which can evaluate the ACPR. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup on the bench. So we have here the signal generator, and it's followed by the bandpass filter, and then it's sampled by the ADC 12D1800RF. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in WaveVision 5. So right now we're looking at the, uh, the time domain view and the, uh, the ADC is running in continuous capture mode. So towards the top of the screen, there are a few tabs. This allows you to look at the time domain view. This allows you to look at the frequency domain view. This tab allows you to look at the IMD3 or two-tone view. 
and this is a histogram view. So the first thing that we do is go ahead and select the FFT or frequency domain view. So you can see right here is our wideband signal and towards the bottom this skirting is the, the, from the effect of the ACPR. On the left hand side of the screen is a tab called ACPR readouts. So first of all you go ahead and just select that and then in order for the this tab to remain open at the top right there is a pin and you can just pin it open. So first of all we need to set up the parameters for the channels. So the ACPR is going to be centered at 1650 megahertz. And the reason for that is because the ADC is sampling at 3.6 gig. So the 1950 megahertz input signal folded back down to 1650 megahertz. Then we're going to set up the bandwidth to be 3.84 megahertz. And we're going to set the channel spacing to be 5 megahertz. <clears throat> In order to display the channels on the screen, in the display we just select the ACPR. So you can see over here in the FFT view, uh, one of the channels is covering uh, the main signal, then to the right of that is the upper adjacent channel, and following that is the alternate upper, upper channel. To the left of the main signal is the adjacent lower channel, followed by the alternate lower channel. So if we go into the top left corner of the screen, we can see the power that's actually measured in each of these channels. So in the channel power, this is measuring the power in the main signal, which is about minus 10 dB full scale. In the adjacent upper and lower channels, it's measuring about 72 dB full scale. And in the alternate upper and alternate lower uh, channels we're measuring about minus 75 dB full scale. So in summary we've been able to see how to measure ACPR for a wideband communications application which is very important in order to be able to tell how a signal may interfere with a neighboring communications channel. Thanks very much for watching. You can find more information at the following URLs.